Okay, today we're going to be learning how to register our MAC address for the UNC network. Um, in order to log on to the UNC network, everyone is required to register the physical address of their network card, and we're going to show you how to do that today. So the first step we're going to take here is find our uh, MAC address. Um, the easiest way to do it is through uh, command prompt. Um, if you, you don't see command prompt in the list there, just go into programs here and type in command. Command prompt should be the only one. And you pull up this bar here, just go ahead and type in ibconfig forward slash all and hit enter. And this will list all the network cards that you have plugged in. What we're looking for is that your Ethernet adapter and if you have wireless, then also your wireless connection. And what specifically we're looking for is your physical address, which is, should be a 12 digit number um, listed under your Ethernet uh, specifics. So once you have that address here, just go ahead and slide that window over and open up a web browser. Once you do that here, we can go to onion.unc.edu and go ahead and scroll down and go to DHCP registration. Click on DHCP registration. Hit continue. Accept. And here we are. Um, on this list uh, is all the physical hardware addresses that I've registered. Um, anything that connects to the internet, such as your iPhone, PlayStation, with your television, and your computers, um, should all go in here. If you're new to the system and bought your own laptop at home, then you'll need to go ahead and add that registration. And if you are um, uh, bought a CCPI laptop, then uh, they most likely have <coughs> registered it for you. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and hit Add Registration. And it'll prompt you for a phone number, which is the, the default number should uh, should be whatever you gave Connect Carolina. <clears throat> we're going to give it a description. We'll just call this one Ethernet, and then we're going to want to take this address over here and plug it in. So for me, it's a zero zero five zero five six two a four f. Zero two. All right, and it'll ask you is an Ethernet or wireless connection. Um, it shouldn't matter which one you pick if you know uh, for sure. In this case, it's an Ethernet connection. Go ahead and click Ethernet. However, if the MAC address is registered, um, it's not really important which one you choose. Just go ahead and click Continue. Uh, it'll just give you a brief summary. Uh, once again, check to make sure that this 12-digit number here matches the 12-digit number over here under Physical Address and then go ahead and click save. Uh, you can see here I've added Ethernet and this number here matches this one over here and you should be ready to log on to the network. Um, it's good to note that this should be done before you come to school um, because even if you plug into the wall directly you will not be able to access any of the network without doing this. Um, if you're already here at school and you need to connect, um, I'd recommend using one of the computers in either a library or in the uh, student store. And once you're finished up here, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this because I don't need it. But you're going to go ahead and click Done. It'll automatically log you out. And they say there's a, about a 20 minute response time uh, between when you register it and when you can get online. Um, if it's been more than 20 minutes then and you still can't get online, um, go back, double check, make sure all your um, passwords and everything are right. Uh, make sure you put in your uh, code correctly. Um, if not, then um, go ahead and go to the uh, bottom floor of the undergraduate library and uh, ask them. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. We're going to close this out and thanks for watching.